Hello guys, the DB Grinder here back at it again with another video. This time we got Dark Ghouls with 927 rating versus IG Nerd Gaming Inc. with 1,408 rating. So it's going to be another high rated DB video and let's hop right in. We're going to see a tie and then Dark Ghouls is going to win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot. So he's going to get to decide if he wants to go first or not. And he's going to choose to go first. He's got 40 versus 60. Opening hand is Ash, Gizmic, Ash... Uh, Grisu and then Black Dragon. So it's cool to see this. It means he's running the Chaos Space package. And then he has Red Eyes Black Dragon, Strike. There can be only one. I was about to say, there be only can one. I don't even know. Meltdown and then Now Your Servant. So we can see that he's playing Dogmatica, Invoke, Dragoon, 60 cards interesting versus Orcus. so this is going to be a cool match two cool decks he's going to summon and then effect dump nightmare and then he's using nightmare effect dump wand and then wand bring back out nightmare so he doesn't use this to pass out tokens and then gal effect put back wand set crescendo pass I wonder why he doesn't go for the token play. Uh, maybe to play around Nib. It's probably it. And then pass turn, draw Red Eyes Fusion. He's going to activate Meltdown. And then add Alistair. Then activate Red Eyes Fusion. He did it in that order, so that way uh, Meltdown would help protect this. But he had Ash anyhow. Then activate Night of Your Servant. Chain Crescendo should be banished. And then set Alistair, set the two traps, pass turn, draw chaos space. It's going to activate, there can be only one. And then chaos space, get rid of black to add white. And then banish black for white. He's going to strike that summon. And then chaos space, put back, draw on the skelly. And he's going to normal summon ash. And then turn those into a unicorn, unicorn effect, spin back, and then nightmare effect. And he just scoops to that. Fair enough. So now going on to the next game, we are going to see IG Nerd go first. Opening hand is Pinkertops, Dark Greffer, Talons, Orcus Nightmare, and Talons. So no hand traps or anything. He doesn't really need it against this deck. It's not combo. But this hand isn't bad. And then he has Nadir Servant, Terraforming, Strike, Meltdown, Judgment. Wow. They just always open Alistair. I, I swear, even in 60 cards he opens up Alistair. Alistair plus Nadir Servant. Terraforming. And he's playing Numerons. Okay, did not expect that. He's going to use it to dump Numeron Calling and then bring out the materials and just go right for Zexel. And then add your Servant, dump Ash to add Ecclesia. Then he's going to activate Meltdown, search for Alistair. And then set Alistair, set the Solemns. And then end phase, add Knight. He said Nuts. Yeah, well, not really, I mean, it's it's not even, like, that good. Like, the Numeron stuff just doesn't work with the other stuff at all. It's really just, like, Zexel, the, like, Nadir's Servant and Meltdown didn't really add anything to that. Not gonna lie, it was a good hand. Oh, yeah, for sure. Draws Chaos Space, he's going to activate Zexel on standby, he had Strike for Gamma, Summon Pinkertops, so that's definitely going to get hit with a, a Strike. Yeah, you don't want that beating over your Zexel, and if this stays, you just win. Now, going on to the next game, we're going to see Orcus go first, Game 3, opening hand is Foolish Burial, Chaos Space, Cosmic, Quick Launch, and Gizmax, so he's also playing the Rocket Package. This can be used to make Savage or Chaos Ruler, depending on what you need. 
It's going to quick launch, bring out Tracer, then go into Striker Dragon, add boot. And then Striker Dragon, pop itself, add back Tracer. And then activate boot, summon out Tracer, Tracer effect, pop to summon out Magna Rocket. Interesting that I chose to play Magna Rocket. But goes into Savage, Savage Effect, Equip Striker, Chaos Space, Discard Gizmak, Add White Dragon, and then Banish Tracer for White, Foolish Burial, Send Orcus Nightmare, and then Nightmare Effect, Send Wand, and then Wand, Bring Out Nightmare, and then goes into Gal. It's kind of cool how he's locked under like the, like the Tracer Lock and the Orcus Lock, like in one turn. Then white to add black, gal effect, put back wand, set crescendo, and then banish white for black, chaos base, put back white, draw in the dark refer, and then set cosmic pass. So the great thing about like Orcist, and the great thing that's like always been about Orcus is like their first turn boards are never like too insane. Uh, it's just the fact that like once they do their combo first turn, like, they're playing forever. Like, there's a follow-up right here of that. This is a follow-up once it's engraved. He has, like, Gizmek. But past turn, oh, I didn't even go over his hand. I'm so dumb. He had Nadir Servant, Cursed, Wakero, Numeron, Calling, Wakero, Red Eyes Insight. So this, wait. He's also playing Eldish in this deck. So this is... Invoked, Dogmatica, Numeron, Eldlish, a lot of red eye stuff in it. That's a lot of decks in one deck. This deck's insane. And then activate Cursed, pay it, feel great. Chain Cosmic, pay a thousand, feel better. And then activate Now Your Servant. He's going to Savage Negate that, and then Red Eyes Insight. It's going to dump to add Red Eyes Fusion, and then activate Red Eyes Fusion, chain Crescendo, and then set two Arc Heroes, pass play, draw Crow. I mean, this is definitely a game. It's going to go main phase, goes into Phoenix, he's going to get the effects of Black Dragon and Phoenix, pop Arc Hero, add White Dragon, and then summon Ding. He's going to send another walk hero, and then banish black for white. And then the opponent just leaves right there. It is definitely going to be game though. I mean, he's only at 72 anyhow. So he could have just even like summoned this out. And then that should just be game right there. But that was a interesting match for sure. Uh, it's cool to see Orcist. I always love seeing this deck. It's one of like the most like fair decks of all time. That was like really good at one point. And then I don't, I don't even know what I'm going to call this deck. Like what do I call this deck? I guess I'm just going to call it I don't even know. I got to call it something. I'm going to come up with a name right now. I'm going to call it like I'm just going to call it Dogmatica Invoked because he saw like Dogmatica cards a lot and Invoked cards a lot. Yeah, I, I don't know what else to call it. Uh, looking at how long the match was, holy, it was only 15 minutes long. The match definitely felt longer than that. But that's going to be it for the video. I'm going to guess that the video itself is maybe like... 9 minutes, 59 seconds long. And with that being said, the DB Grinders signing off. Peace. Have a nice day.